Welcome to the Video Teacher Self-Training Video Course for Green Industry, Introduction to Intellectual Property Rights. Introduction of Intellectual Property Rights is a basic guide to the legal rights of individuals or organizations that own intellectual property. Intellectual property refers to intangible property that results from creative mental work, such as an invention, design, idea, method, name, or symbol. The creators of such property can prevent their creations from being infringed by applying for intellectual property rights. There are many different kinds of IP rights, each of which is granted for a certain type of creation. Broadly, intellectual property refers to legal rights to property that is produced through intellectual activity in the scientific, industrial, artistic, and literary fields. There are basically two reasons why countries have laws protecting intellectual property rights. The first is to give creators legal rights to their creations and the public the right to access the creations. Secondly, the laws serve as an intentional act of government policy to promote creativity and the distribution and implementation of its results, as well as encourage fair trading to facilitate economic and social development. Intellectual property law seeks to protect creators of intellectual products or services by giving them time-limited rights to decide how their creations should be used. According to the World Intellectual Property Organization, intellectual property includes rights pertaining to scientific works, artistic works, literary works, broadcasts, performances by performance artists, phonograms, service marks, scientific discoveries, industrial designs, inventions in any field of human endeavor, protection against unfair competition, commercial names, trademarks, and all other rights that come from intellectual activity in the literary, artistic, or scientific fields. Intellectual property rights come in many different forms, with the most common ones being patent rights. Patents protect new inventions and how they work. There are three types of patents, utility, design, and plant patents. Copyrights, which protect musical works, literary works, dramatic works, broadcasts, cable programs, films, sound recordings, and published editions. Trademarks and brands, which enable businesses to protect their corporate image so that they can create a unique identity to distinguish themselves from their competitors. Protection of trade secrets. Trade secrets are formulas, devices, processes, or other information that businesses keep confidential to maintain a competitive edge. Design rights. Design rights allow inventors and businesses to protect the appearance, shape, and form of a product. Examples of trade secrets include customer lists, soda formulas, computer algorithms, and survey results. The purpose of sharing intellectual property rights is to ensure that a public authority can use the intellectual property while allowing the developing company to maintain its intellectual property rights and opportunities to commercialize the intellectual property. The intellectual property rights protect the public authority from a vendor lock-in and create a strong incentive for innovation in the market. There are two approaches to sharing intellectual property rights are licenses and royalties. A license refers to an agreement between the owner of intellectual property rights and another party. Licensing allows the developer of the innovation to keep intellectual property rights and the public authority to avoid vendor lock-in and the resulting high costs in the event that vendors exploit their monopoly power. There are several kinds of licenses. Exclusive licenses. Cross licenses. Open licenses and open source software licenses. Royalties, on the other hand, refer to payments from a licensee to a licensor for the use of intellectual property. Licenses are permissions given by the copyright holder for their content. Licenses can be applied to copyrighted material in order to give permission for certain uses of the material. Copyright is still held by the creator in these cases, but the creator has decided to allow others to use their work. Sometimes licenses are purchased and sometimes they are given freely by the creator. Licenses can be applied to allow reuse, redistribution, derivative works, and commercial use. Creative Commons is the most frequently used and accessible free licensing scheme, but there are others that are used by certain communities. Licenses can also be applied by commercial entities that own copyright to an item such as a journal article. These licenses generally spell out limited usage for users and are available for a fee. Creative Commons licenses are applied by the copyright owner to their own works. These are the most prominently used licenses of their type in the world. There are four components to the licenses that are arranged in six configurations. BY, attribution required. NC, no commercial use. ND, no derivative works. SA, share alike, the license must be the same on any derivative works.
The six licenses, excluding CC0, which is an equivalent to the public domain, are CCBY. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format, so long as attribution is given to the creator. The license allows for commercial use. CCBYSA. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format, so long as attribution is given to the creator. The license allows for commercial use. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical terms. CCBYND, this license allows reusers to copy and distribute the material in any medium or format in unadapted form only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. The license allows for commercial use. CCBYNC, this license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. CCBYNCSA, this license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical terms. CCBYNCND, this license allows reusers to copy and distribute the material in any medium or format in unadapted form only, for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the Project Videoteach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.